Today, as planned, JK and Yin are on their way to a doctor's clinic. JK intentionally took a day off from work for this, and so did Yin she took a break from her university classes. Besides, Yin's class schedule is not as hectic anymore. Currently, she is in her final semester, focusing on and starting to compose her thesis for graduation. Unlike usual, the atmosphere in JK's car feels more silent, and there is a sense of awkwardness between the two. However, Yin doesn't like the silence and attempts to lighten the mood. JK, I'm sure you'll get better. Do you really think so? Well, I believe so. So, don't keep that gloomy face all the time. I don't know, you don't understand. I've been thinking about this for years. There was a time when I almost went crazy. I kept it a secret from both of my parents. If I may ask, when did you realize that your condition was like this? Do you want to hear my story? Of course, I'll listen. In high school, I started suspecting. When friends my age begin discussing things like that, you know what I mean. Those are common teenage conversations. At that time, I started to wonder why mine never got hard at all. No sensation, as if it were numb. I'm sorry, but do you have desires? I have desires, I have feelings, I have desires. But the problem is, for that area, I don't feel anything, like it's numb. So, because it's numb, it doesn't react, right? Yes, more or less like that. Later, you will hear the explanation from Dr. Jin. He will also give instructions on what you should do. After you realize that, did you immediately see a doctor? No, I investigated it myself. But at that time, I started to get scared. I started to feel insecure. Finally, when I was in college, I mustered the courage to go to the doctor myself and tell everything. Finally, the doctor re-examined my condition, only then could a conclusion be drawn. That there's nerve damage there. That's why I'm not sensitive in that area. At that time, I was frustrated, imagining my parents' disappointment, the thought that I wouldn't have a future, wouldn't be able to build a family. I was truly stressed, but the doctor reassured me, saying I could still recover as long as I underwent therapy. But of course, that therapy can only be done by a woman. The doctor suggested that I fall in love and have a relationship with a sincere woman. Huh, is there a sincere woman willing to accept my condition like this? So, I have no intention at all of forming a relationship with anyone. GK, forgive me, but I promise I will help you. I also apologize for what I've done to you all this time. Well, yes. Yin. Yes. JK? Do you still love me after knowing my condition like this? And after knowing what I've done to you all this time? Honestly, I was very surprised, knowing everything at once. I couldn't sleep last night, but after thinking about it, it seems that I want to be able to accompany you through all of this. If I leave you, I will feel guilty for a lifetime. Our feelings are strange, aren't they? Well, for the time being, we don't need to think about what our feelings are like. But Yin, I'm sorry, if I become selfish, I won't let you go, even if you want to leave me later. Are you sure you love me, not because you need me for your healing process? Do you feel that way? Are you doubting my feelings? Well, honestly, I'm a bit doubtful. Okay, as you said earlier, let's just see later what our feelings will be like. After spending a few minutes on the road, they finally arrived at a doctor's clinic. JK and Yin stepped out of the car and entered the clinic. After handling all the administration, they were finally called into the examination room. Well, welcome JK. It's been a long time since we met. Yes, doctor. Come on, please have a seat. JK and Yin finally sat in front of the doctor's desk. Meanwhile, Jin began to observe JK and Yin alternately. Doctor, let me introduce my girlfriend. Her name is Yin. Yin, who was already sitting, bowed her head slightly as a sign of respect to Dr. Jin. All right, now that we can discuss this issue, JK, and of course, Yin. Finally, Dr. Jin explained in detail to Yin what was happening with JK. He also explained what Yin needed to do to help JK recover. I will prescribe some oral medications for you, JK. Please take them regularly. And I'm also prescribing a jelly textured ointment that you will apply. Yin. It's your task to apply it, as I explained earlier. If the jelly runs out, I will prescribe another medicine, and JK, don't forget to come for a checkup every two weeks. Yin nodded while lowering her head. Yin's face was truly blushing. She had been holding back embarrassment throughout Dr. Jin's instructions. Hey, you don't need to be embarrassed like that. I am a doctor. My patients don't need to be embarrassed in front of me. JK, 
Your girlfriend is really cute. While JK just nodded without answering, his lips seemed to be holding back a smile, watching Yin, who had been blushing with embarrassment. Well then, I hope you recover soon, JK. If you two get married, don't forget to invite me, okay? Finally, JK and Yin said their goodbyes and left the room. They headed straight to the car. So, Yin, do you know what you have to do now? Yes, I do. The doctor explained everything earlier. Does anything burden you? Actually, nothing, but because the doctor said it has to be done every day. What do you think, JK? When and where should we do it? Definitely not during the day, because I have to work, and you also have to go to campus. So, we'll do it at night. Yin, what if? What's up, JK? We start sleeping together? Do you think so? Yes, to make everything easier. Besides, our homes are very close. We can sleep at your place or mine alternately. Oh, okay then. So, should we start tonight? Yes, of course. How about tonight in my room? You haven't visited my house so far, right? Hum, okay then. They have had dinner, and now they are in JK's room. JK, have you taken your medicine? Yes. Now they both fall silent, and the atmosphere is truly awkward. However, JK eventually takes the initiative. Hey, we haven't tried all the methods. Can I touch it? Where's the jelly salve that the doctor gave earlier? It's over there. JK pointed to the item in the plastic bag along with other medications from JK. Yin got up and immediately took the jelly salve, returning to JK, who was still lying on his bed. Yin stared at JK, their eyes were still locked, JK's breath still felt heavy. Yin could sense desire in JK's eyes at this moment. With difficulty, Yin swallowed her saliva. She was truly nervous right now, but she had promised to help JK recover. Can I touch it now? Of course. But, can the room light be turned off? Why? I feel uncomfortable when it's bright like this. I'm embarrassed, JK. But I want to see you. For the first day, let the light be off. Tomorrow, after I get used to it, then turn it on. Can it be like that? Okay, if that's the case. Yin immediately got up and turned off the light switch. Then she sat back, this time on the edge of the bed. JK, I'll start now. Okay. Yin began to touch JK's pants. JK took the initiative to immediately remove his pants and underwear. Yin took out the jelly salve and started touching JK's private part, following the doctor's instructions, massaging and squeezing in the instructed areas. Actually, Yin was curious about what JK was feeling right now. Could he not feel anything at all? She wanted to see JK's face, but with the lights off, she couldn't. That made Yin curious. But if the light was turned on, she felt embarrassed if JK stared at her in this state. It was a dilemma. Finally, faintly, she could hear JK's breath becoming heavier. Yin felt the object in her hand slowly hardening, but not completely, not fully erect. Yin continued doing it for 30 minutes, following the doctor's instructions. JK, it's been 30 minutes, shall I stop now? Okay. Before turning the light back on, Yin instructed JK to put his pants back on. After that, she immediately turned on the light in JK's room. And there, JK's current condition was revealed. Sweat on his forehead, sharp eyes staring at Yin. JK began to position himself sitting, and after Yin was next to him, JK immediately kissed Yin again. A few moments later. Now they were lying down, side by side. Yin, I'm sorry for troubling you. But I promised, I'll help you recover. If I were like this with another girl, I'd probably be laughed at right now. But the reality is, you're not with another girl, JK, you're with me. And I'm not mocking you. Yin, do you believe I can still recover? Of course, as long as you regularly take your medicine and go for checkups, following all the doctor's instructions, I believe you can recover. Whether I can recover or not depends on your loyalty, Yin. Because I can't do it alone. Do you think I would leave you? 
Who knows, maybe you'd be tempted by a stronger and more vigorous man. What do you mean by more? Stronger and more virile. Do you think I'm someone like that? I hope you're not. What if after you recover, you're the one who leaves me? Do you think I'm capable of that? It could be that you're the one who's capable of it. If I turn out to be like that, you're allowed to curse me. You know my weakness, feel free to spread it if you want. Okay, okay, now we should sleep, okay? JK smiled, seeing Yin now lying beside him.